Most weather systems occur in the troposphere because it contains 80% of all the gases in the atmosphere, including 90% of all water in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. Hot air balloons can't fly too high in the air since the gases that keep them afloat can't stay hot enough the higher they go. Not to mention it's pretty hard to breathe up there. At the bottom of the stratosphere, fast winds blow in a thin layer of constant air temperature and pressure. These winds will carry you much faster than a balloon can handle, so you'll need an airplane. But as you get higher in the stratosphere, the air gets too thin for standard air travel. Ice crystals will form on airplane windows when you're cruising at high altitudes because the average air temperature at the bottom of the stratosphere is negative 57 degrees Celsius. A space shuttle is designed to protect its passengers from extreme temperatures. You'd need one to travel through the mesosphere, where the temperatures at the top drop to negative 90 degrees Celsius. The mesosphere is too far away from Earth's surface to be warmed by reflected ultraviolet radiation, and there are few gases to trap heat. Without the protection of a space shuttle, passengers would freeze solid in the mesosphere. The thermosphere merges with outer space. Temperatures shoot up in the thermosphere because the air is superheated by the sun. Cruising at the top of the thermosphere isn't a problem, since there aren't many superhot air molecules to run into. But a ship can burn up as it returns through the thermosphere. When re-entering the atmosphere, the molecules of superhot air are closer together, making anything moving through them at high speeds scorching hot. <laughs> 